if you watch enough mathematics videos on YouTube, you should be familiar with this notation. This is a titration. For example, the fourth titration of 2 is defined as 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2, four times. If you try to evaluate this expression without using parentheses in both Google Sheets and Excel, they give different answers. Mathematically speaking, Excel thinks that the nested or towered exponentiations are left associative, while Google Sheet thinks it's right associative. A created poll using simpler calculation, and 80% of people said nested or towered exponentiations should be right associative. I agree with the majority here, but I realize that I really don't know why. So I spent some time doing the research, especially in the context of titration. So here is my finding. Why titration or towered exponentiations are right associative? Looking back at the development of mathematical notations, a new notation should only be introduced if it can express a concept that existing notations cannot express, or significantly reduce the expression complexity. Let's take integer multiplication as an example. If we don't have the multiplication notation, we can only write it as a sequence of additions. A multiplying B is still OK, but how about this one? Without multiplication notation, the expression becomes unmanageable very quickly. It's unmanageable to spend most of the time writing plus signs in an exam, isn't it? Another benefit of introducing the multiplication sign is that we can multiply a fraction, a negative number, or even an irrational number. The introducing of the new notations allow us to go beyond the original motivation of summing integer number of objects. The same idea applies to the exponentiation notation. Without it, it's impossible to write down the most beautiful equation in mathematics. Now let's go back to titration. If titration, say the fourth titration of A, is defined as left associative, what do we get? We can write down this expression layer by layer and realize that the inner core of this expression will collapse, simply increasing the exponents. At the end of the day, we see that if we define titration, the towered exponentiations, as left associative, then we don't need this new notation because exponentiation is just enough to represent the idea cleanly and there is no new mathematics. However, if we define the towered exponentiation as right associative, things are different. We see this definition is intrinsically recursive, as the exponent is another titration, expressing it in pure exponentiation is tedious if not ugly. In summary, the notation for towered exponentiations is only justified if it's right associative. Here is a table for the first five hyperoperations. If you don't know hyperoperation before, don't worry, you have seen all of them on the screen. You just don't know that addition, multiplication, exponentiation, etc. can be grouped under the concept called hyperoperation. So what do they have in common? What's the relationship between them? And what's the first hyperoperation? To answer these questions, let's start with our familiar exponentiation a to the power of b. We can create a recursive structure that h3ab equals a multiplies h3ab minus 1. But multiplication is exactly the previous hyperoperator. Therefore, we have h3ab equals h2a h3ab minus 1. How about we starting with multiplication? So h2ab equals a multiplies b. Then we expand it as a plus a multiplies b minus 1 we can identify the same recursive structure as addition is the hyperoperator right in front of multiplication. In fact, this recursive structure is exactly how hyperoperations are defined. Please pay close attention here. What is h0? It is 1 plus b. It's called succession. Let's assign some names to our general recursion relationship. 
So N is called the rank of the hyper operation. A is called the base, and B is called the exponent. A and B share the same name as in normal exponentiation, but here they are in the context of hyper operation. If we try to calculate the fourth titration of two, we see that this recursion structure guarantees that the calculation is right associative. The hyper operation is actually very easy to put into code, but it's just also very easy to exceed the recursion limits. Just for fun, let's calculate the hyper operation H5, the hyper operation after titration. It has a name, pentation. Repeatedly applying the definition, we see that H524 is the 65,536 titration of 2. It is an exponentiation tower that is monstrously tall. Let's try to calculate to see how large it is. You know, I can do this all day, but our universe is just too small.